Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video by Don Gabu for today. And today, what we're going to be taking a look at is Marco Axelbender from the 2010 Deluxe Line in the Final Lap kind of collection from Cars 1. And he is in a deluxe package, like I said. I got this on eBay for $8, which was a pretty good deal because... $8 is really the average price for deluxes at retail stores. And of course, this is released all the way back in 2010, seven years ago. And I got this off of eBay for retail price, $8. A great deal. And I'm glad I got it for that deal. But mostly, for the most part, is average price on eBay is either $12 through $18, somewhere around there. And if you do not have Marco Alex Bender, yeah, I hope you will be able to find him or get him in the future. I should, should I say get him. That is, if you do want him. So now it's going to review the package of Marco Alex Bender here. Now, as you can see, he has a very angry expression on the art, although the die cast shows him with a happy expression, as you can see. I kind of like the happy expression on the die cast, but I kind of wish it was more accurate to the art. And there we have the old deluxe logo that they used back in 2010. Right here, you can see the name tag, Marco Axbender, shows that he is number 21 in the line. Also, the background art they used in 2010 for all the releases was like a neon street background with some arrows. Kind of reminds me of what it would be in a video game. And on the back of the package, you can see Marco himself, along with Elvis RV, Bessie, and Frank. I do have Bessie, Frank, and Elvis RV, so I do not need to get those. So I do have all of these on the back now. And right here on the top corner, it says, collect these and more. And right here, you have the Disney Pixar Cars logo. Alright, so I did all the talking with the packages and all that good stuff, so let's just get Marco Axbender out of the package. As you guys know, some of these um, 2010 packages were really hard to open, so I'm not sure why they made it like that, but by now, it's kind of easier these days. Alright everybody, here we have Marco Axelbender out of the package, and now as you can see, he has this very happy expression on his face. Like I said before, I do, I'm kind of in love with this expression because it's just so awesome, and he's looking off to his left, to us it'd be the right, but with his point of view it'd be his left, and he just has an awesome smile. Even though it doesn't match the art image he has, I still absolutely love it. He has the security logo in the front of his hood in white text. And on the sides here, you have the Piston Cup Racing Series logo. We have the security logo again right here. And he has like a white door on each side. But his main colors are white and black. And he has the security logo on the top, on the roof part. But this part is actually in black text when the other ones are white. And then he also has these little railings that most of the SUVs do have. I believe the only one that doesn't is Charlie Cargo. But I do not have him, so I can't compare him to him. He also has these nice gray rims. On the back, you have the security logo. And you also see a license plate. Not sure if my camera is going to focus, but it looks like it says something 37597, something like that. And he also has a black base with some Mattel information on it. And now I like to compare him to some other cars that I do have that are his model. Let's start with the other SUV security guard which is of course Richard Clayton Kensington here and they are exactly the same no differences the only difference is the expression on them um Richard Clayton Kensington is has a more angry expression when Marcos is a lot more happier so I'll give him a 360 so you can see the comparison between them like I said they are exactly the same only difference is their expressions now hold on let me see if their license plates are the same well I'm gonna come up here and see if their license plates are the same yeah their license License plates are the same, unfortunately. Mattel tends to do that with a lot of their die casts, which is really unfortunate. But I forgot to mention that he also has these nice yellow tail like light thing on the top of his roof as well. And now, just so you guys know, 2010 was his only release. He was only released in 2010 as a deluxe, so he will never be re well, he can never be released. I'll just say he hasn't been re released. He could be re-released, though. I mean, Mattel had plenty of opportunities. I mean, he could have fit in the Piston Cup Picker Series. I mean, they released Richard They released Richard in the 2015 Piston Cup Series. So, I was kind of surprised they didn't release Marco. 
So hopefully we see him get re-released in a future year. But so far as of now, he's only been released. He's only released was in 2010, and he appeared at the Los Angeles International Speedway in Cars 1 when Fred was trying to come through, and he was telling him, um, so, I forgot why he couldn't come, but he said, like, he couldn't come or anything, and then Mario started coming, and he still was talking to Fred, telling him he can't come in, and that's really where he appeared, and he did actually have speaking lines in the movie, which is kind of weird. I find it real weird that he had speaking lines in the movie, only got one release, although Richard didn't speak at all in the movie, but he has two releases so far. So make sure to tell me in the comment section down below which one out of these two is your favorite. Mine is uh, Marco Axe under here, just because of the expression. I like it a lot more than Richard's. And one other car I like to compare it to is Tormentor's biggest fan from the Mayor's Tall Tale short, Tormentor. From Mater's Tall Tales, of course, and they are essentially the same, although they're not exactly the same because the Tormentor's Big Fan does need the holes in the body in order to put the little flag things and on the roof as well. But they are basically the same, just different paint. But yeah, overall, they are the same. I'll give them a 360 so you can see the comparison between them. Very nice. And now, also, tell me it, which is your favorite SUV. Here, I'll put them. I put all of these here. We have Tormentor's Bigger Fan. We have Charlie Check. Not Charlie Checker. Richard Clay and Kensington. And then Marco Axelman. They're my favorite. And Marco, yours may be different. And now, I'll pause the video and show you something special. It's kind of a sneak peek to a future video. You guys seeing what you're seeing, right? Yes. This is another car that uses Richard, not Marco Axelbender's model, which is the Austin Gang Crew Chief. And I have this set in the package. I recently bought it off eBay. And I will be doing a review of this very, very soon on my channel. It may always already be on my schedule. Who knows? But I'll definitely review it for you guys in the future. And I hope you guys are looking forward to that video. And it was just a little sneak peek I decided to put in there. I did match. It's Octane Scrooge. It actually is the same model as Marco Axelbender. So that is it for today's video on Marco Axelbender. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. And I'll see you guys by then. We're signing off.